It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. So, I spotted an article on Twitter about the Avengers, and of course, in a typical fashion, I'm going to respond to it because why not? Why the Avengers are all anarchists? The MCU really explicitly does not trust the American government or any government body really. Like not even a little. Before I respond to this article, let's first get a proper definition about what is anarchy. Because the last time I talked about anarchy before, I got my butt kicked at least two separate occasions by an actual anarcho-capitalist named Anarchy Ball. And so basically, I do not want my butt be kicked for a third time for this whole entire topic. So it was very important, like really, really important for me to get the proper definition of anarchy. Otherwise, my whole entire argument just falls apart. So let's find a good definition of anarchy. According to Merriam-Webster, of course, anarchy has various different definitions. An absence of government a state of lawfulness or a political disorder due to the absence of government authority, a utopian society of individuals who enjoy complete freedom without government, an absence or denial of any authority or established order, or the absence of order. Also, I want to further emphasize that I am not the biggest expert when it comes down to Marvel movies. And matter of fact, I'm terrible with the comic books and the only kind of exposure that I have with the characters are actually the movies. So if you guys see any kind of errors or mistakes about what I'm saying right now, in regards to the Marvel characters, please tell me in the comment section down below or make video responses to correct my little problems that I have in this video. The first claim was the MCU really explicitly does not trust the American government or any governing body at all. Just because somebody does not trust the government does not mean somebody want to get rid of the government entirely. It's entirely possible to not trust the government, but want a government system and somebody that want to completely abolish the government entirely. In the MCU's very first movie, 2008 Iron Man, Tony Stark fashioned a murder machine from scrap metal and used it to blow up terrorists. The United States government is concerned to say the least, but Stark doesn't care. He believes he can do more good on his own. Iron Man 2 made this even more obvious. In court, Tony Stocks argue against the government having his armor because quite frankly he doesn't trust them. Again, just because someone does not trust the government does not mean that they are anarchists. And matter of fact, prior to this whole entire chain of events, like basically Tony Stock was actually part of the military industrial complex. And so obviously, obviously he has some distrust. However, just because he does not trust the government does not mean he wants to abolish the whole entire state. Like I remember beforehand, Captain America is anti-government right from the get-go. The United States gave him the super soldier sent him, sure, but it sidelines him, using him for more boosting plays. He started selling war bonds, a literal government shield. Steve Rogers did not become a true hero, does not really earn the title of Captain America, and until he started doing the right thing, utter speed down. Again, abolishment of government versus not trusting the government. You cannot tell me, you cannot tell me that these two things are exactly alike. The Hulk is constantly on the run from a government that wants to cage him and experiment on him. Okay, maybe, just maybe the Incredible Hulk might fit the definition of anarchy in a sense that he has complete utter chaos around him because he attacks like tanks, he attacks civilians, just to keep on attacking everything, right? However, as far as like Bruce Banner's concerned, I don't think he wants to overstruggle the government or want to get rid of it, so I don't think that actually fits for Bruce Banner, but for the Incredible Hulk, sure, why not? He's like completely chaotic, so he's anarchist. Even the Asgardian Marnarchy is an exempt. In Thor Ragnarok, it's revealed that a good dude, Odin, was actually a terrible king who built the throne on blood and bones of millions, imprisoned his own daughter, and then lied about all of it. Thor then sent to an alien world where a ruling class pit fighters against another in a vicious gladiatorial combat. 
He literally just stated that Thor and Odin are part of a monarchy. Just so please tell me this, like how in the world is this whole entire Thor family part of anarchy? Like, if they want to have, of course, kings and queens and prince and princes, obviously they are freaking part of a monarchy. That's the opposite of anarchy. Black Widow is filled with nothing but regrets after being turned into a walking weapon by a showery Russian organization. Wait, did someone say Russia? How dare you? That word is forbidden on this channel. Obviously, like, the whole entire Russia stuff is awful, and they are the ones that actually hack into our elections, and that's why we have a president, so no mention to Russia on this channel. No sorry, Bob. By the way, I'm kind of joking right now and then hired to murder people by a showery American government organization. You literally said it yourself. Black Widow is part of the freaking government. Like, the more and more and more I read this article, the less and less sense you make. The Guardians, by the way, exist in the farthest reach of a galaxy that does not seem to have any kind of centralized government at all, and they are clearly having the best time being heroes out of everyone. I guess the Guardians of the Galaxy are causing anarchy in the sense that they were actually former like ex-convicts, right? And pretty much since they were criminals, they caused anarchy in the sense that they were causing like a lot of crime and a lot of chaos. And so naturally before they became heroes, they actually were causing anarchy in that kind of sense. So I guess I have no problem with them being called anarchists in that kind of sense. However, most of the list has been really, really terrible. Like, most of these people that were listed are not anarchists by definition, or did anything that was remotely anarchic as terms of the actions or crimes. And also, it's kind of strange, like, there was only two people, only two people on this whole entire list that actually count as, I guess, anarchists in the sense of causing crime. But otherwise, most people are not anarchists on this list. So this whole entire article, to me at least, is just complete, utter trash. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and I'll talk to you guys next time. <music>